Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the maximum power transfer theorem. Let's see the statement. It states that in any linear bilateral circuit having the energy sources and resistors, then the maximum power will transfer from source to the load when load resistance is equal to the source resistance. So we will take one uh, sample circuit. So this is the one circuit which is having that there are three resistors and one load resistor is a variable. Okay, this is a source. Okay, the equivalent circuit of the maximum power transfer theorem is, this is a VTH, Thevenin's voltage, that is connected in series with the RTH. Okay, and this load resistor is the variable resistor. Okay, the maximum power will transfer from source to the load when load resistance is equal to the source resistance. This load resistor is a variable resistor. When RL is equal to the RTH, then the maximum power will transfer from source to the load. Okay, now this is the condition of maximum power transfer theorem. That is load resistance is equal to the source resistance, RS. RS here we can also call it as RTH here. Thevenin's resistance. Okay, so here, here load resistor is that is a variable. We are taking on the x axis and y axis we are taking power. Okay, at this particular point, this RL and RTH will become and we will get the maximum power. We will get the graph like this. Okay, so here when RL is equal to RTH, we will get the maximum power. Okay, next the current through the load for any value of the load resistance is given by load current is equal to CR. Load current is equal to, if we apply the Ohm's law, we will get IL is equal to VTH divided by RTH plus RL. This RTH and RL both are connected in series. That's I is equal to V by R. Load current is equal to VTH by RTH plus RL. This is the formula to find out the load current for any of the load here, load resistance. Okay, the current passing through the load for any value of the load resistance by using this formula. Okay, we will take the different types of loads here, uh, load resistors, because the load resistor is a variable quantity. Now, the power observed by the load is given by, the formula for power is PL is equal to IL square into RL. So IL value, we have already seen that VTH divided by RTH plus RL whole square, okay, into RL value. RL is called as load resistance. Then the maximum power delivered to the load is given by P maximum is equal to VTH by RTH plus RL whole square into RL. Okay, now here we will substitute when the maximum power will transfer from source to the load, when these both will become equal, RL is equal to RTH. Now here, in place of RL, we will substitute RTH. What is the equation? We will get VTH divided by RTH plus RTH into whole square into RL. We are substituting RL is equal to RTH here. If we substitute that value, we will get P maximum power is equal to VTH whole square by 4 into RTH. Here, RTH plus RTH, 2 RTH square. Here, RTH, 1 RTH and 1 RTH will get cancelled and we will get 4 into RTH. That is, power maximum is equal to 4 VTH whole square divided by 4 into RTH. This formula is used to find out the maximum power. Okay. Now, we will see by taking one example problem, we will see what is the maximum power transfer in this particular circuit. The problem is... Find the maximum power delivered to the load using the maximum power transfer theorem. Okay, this is the equivalent circuit. Okay, so before going uh, uh, before going to the maximum power transfer theorem equivalent circuit, first we need to find out the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. But it is a combination of VTH that is connected in series with the RTH. Okay, so you are saying the to find the maximum power transfer theorem equivalent circuit. This is the maximum power transfer theorem equivalent circuit. First, we need to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit because VTH and RTH, we will get it from the Thevenin's theorem equivalent circuit only. For that, first I am finding VTH. So we know the procedure to find the VTH, that is open circuit, the load resistance. 
ओके ओपन सर्क्यूट द लोड रेसिस्टेंस एंड फाइंड द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस ओपन सर्क्यूट टर्मिनल दट वी ऑलरेडी सीन इन दिन थीरम ओके हियर एज द second loop here the uh, second loop is is equal loop current is equal to zero the resistor 3 ohm resistor is invalid as a 3 ohm resistor is invalid so we have to whatever the voltage across this 12 ohm resistor is nothing but the thevenin's voltage this open circuit voltage only because as the there is no voltage drop across this 3 ohm resistor because loop to current is equal to zero this 3 ohm resistor is invalid so whatever the voltage appear across this 12 ohm resistor is same as this open circuit voltage as this 3 ohm resistor is invalid and the voltage drop is equal to zero so to find the voltage across 12 ohm resistor we required current that's why the formula for current i is equal to v by r okay here yeah. these two resistors are connected in series okay that's why 2 ohm plus 12 ohm is equal to we are getting a total resistance value r is equal to 14 ohms so voltage value we know that 10 volts we have to substitute that values in this in this formula so i is equal to v by r v value is 10 volts and r value we got 14 ohms now we have to find out the voltage across the 12 ohms as we know the i current we can find easily voltage across the 12 ohm okay as this both are connected in series the current passing through the 2 ohm resistor and 12 ohm resistor is same that is that's why voltage across 2 ohm resistor is equal to i into r what is the i value we got here 0.714 amperes into voltage across a 12 ohm we are finding that's why into r value is 12 so if we multiply 0.714 into 12 we will get 8.5 volts voltage across the 12 ohms is nothing but here 8.5 volts so just now we discussed there is no voltage drop here the same voltage appear across this open circuit terminal so voltage across the 12 ohm resistor is equal to thevenin's voltage is equal to 8.5 volts here finally thevenin's voltage is equal to 8.5 volts so this voltage we have to substitute in the equivalent circuit of the maximum power transfer theorem let's find out the thevenin's resistance so here to find the thevenin's resistance we have the procedure we already discussed in the not uh, thevenin's theorem that is open circuit the low resistance and short circuit the voltage source here okay and find the voltage across the uh, voltage across these two terminals from looking into these two terminals we have to find out the total resistance here okay once again i'm saying short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the load resistance this is the procedure to find out rts thevenin's resistance okay next these two ohms and two volt ohms are connected in parallel okay when the when the two resistors are connected in parallel what is the formula r in r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 okay here also we are using 2 into 12 by 2 plus 12 we got 1.714 ohms okay now we will replace these two resistors by one single resistor now we will get the circuit like this if we remove these two resistors by using the parallel operation we will get only one single resistor so now we got 1.714 ohms that is connected in series with 3 ohms next 1.714 ohms and 3 ohms are connected in series okay if when two resistors are connected in series what is the formula 1.714 plus 3 ohms we will get 1.714 plus 3 is equal to 4.714 ohms so finally we got rts thevenin's resistance is equal to 4.714 ohms so like this we will find out vth value and rth value this is the thevenin's resistance we got after getting the thevenin's resistance now we are uh, substitute these all values in the equivalent circuit then i will enter the values in the thevenin's equivalent circuit here vth value this is the given circuit and this is the equivalent circuit of the maximum power transfer theorem so vth value we got 8.5 volts i am writing the 8.5 volts here and next rth value we got 4.714 ohms we are writing the rth value here and now we will find out the maximum power okay passing through the source to the load okay from the maximum power transfer theorem condition we can say that the maximum power will transfer from source to the load when load resistance is equal to the source resistance here rth value is called as the source resistance 
Hence, we can say that RL value is 4.714 ohms. So when these both are equal, the maximum power will tra transfer from source to the load. So we will take RL value is equal to 4.714 ohms. So now, when these both are equal, the maximum power will transfer from source to the load. Now we will calculate the what is the power we will transfer from source to the load. This is the equivalent circuit. Okay, this is the PTH value is 8.5 volts and RTH value is 4.714 ohms. And RL value is also we are taking same as RTH according to the maximum power transfer theorem. So RL value is equal to 4.714 ohms. Now to calculate the power, we required IL value. Load current is required. That's why IL is equal to current passing through the load resistance is equal to V by R. So V is equal to VTH divided by RTH value and RL value both are connected in series here. So if we substitute that value, VTH value we got 8.5 volts divided by 4.714 plus 4.714. Okay, now if we calculate 8.5 divided by 4.714 plus 4.714, we will get load current is equal to 0 0.90 amperes. Okay, load current is 0 0.90 amperes. Now, the power formula is P maximum is equal to IL square into RL. Okay, what is the IL value we got here? 0 0.90. So, 0 0.90 into 0 0.90 into 4.714. RL value is 4.714. If you calculate the above equation, we will get power maximum is equal to 3.818 watts. The units of power are watts. Okay, now we can also use the other formula. So, we have this formula also. P max power maximum is equal to VTH whole square divided by 4 into RRTH. Okay. So here, what is the VTH value? We have 8.5 whole square divided by 4 into what is the RTH value? RTH value is equal to 4.714. So substitute here 4.714. If we simply, uh, if we calculate the above equation, we will get 3.818 watts. So this is the maximum power is transferred from source to the load. Okay. Like this, we will calculate the power. We can use this formula or this formula. That is our wish. If you want to use I square into RL, you can use I square into RL formula or you can use VTH square divided by 4 into RTH. We will get the same answer. Okay, this is about the maximum power transfer theorem. In the next class, we will discuss about the next topic.